Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. On the last episode, well, I really hope you watched last episode, otherwise you're probably very, very confused why we're suddenly chibi avatar style characters and the game has basically just changed presentation. This game likes doing that a lot. And I love it. Anyway, in the last episode, we came into the virtual world and we were going to um, explore this mansion. And I think the first thing we needed to do was actually go upstairs to the rooftop. But I want to check out this glowing clock. What a strange clock. Is this Muse taste? No, it can't be. This world was originally created by Monokuma. Well, then it's Monokuma's weird taste. Hey man, he may be trying to kill us all, but uh, don't knock his style. Let's see what we got on the rooftop. Which is right here? Holy crap, this is a long climb. Snow? There's snow here! Whoa! It's snow! Look, Mackie Roll! It's snow! Look! Snow! Ew. Oh, you a dog. Nah, he's just enthusiastic. Is it cold here? Our avatars can feel cold? Sure. Yep, isn't it great? Not only can you feel cold, but you can even feel pain and pleasure too. In fact, you don't even need to use birth control here. Hey, try to be quiet, please. I feel like the more you talk, the more I'll dislike you. Oh, that's so harsh. How about we start by exploring the rooftop? Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Hmm. Seems like there are two entrances to the rooftop. We got a pair of... Not binoculars. Is, is it a periscope? No, not a periscope. What is... What is this called again? It's not it's not just a telescope, right? A telescope's only if it's got one um eye hole. And a periscope is the thing that you have in like submarines. It's a scope of some kind. Anyway, let's take a look for for it. Mounted binoculars. Okay, fine, it is binoculars. Well, never mind. I guess that makes sense. By means two, but whatever. Mounted binoculars. Man, looks like you've got a lot of experience with binoculars. <laughs> You're such an obvious peeping Tom. I have a lot of experience with binoculars. What does that even mean? You mean I just know how to use them? I mean, duh, they're binoculars. Feel free to look around with them. Get a good look at everything. Hmm. Alright, let's see what we got. Well, there's the edge of the world, which is just a black abyss. So, probably don't want to fall out of there. Um, got a stream. Which seems to go across the entirety of the... Um, vertical slice of this land. Hmm, the binoculars can't see past here. Ah, is this where the line on the map was? You know. I told you, it's not a line. Then, then what is it? Oh, wait, wrong voice. Then what is it? Why do the binoculars stop there? Ah, aggressive men are always coming and going and coming too soon. I'll explain it to you when you get when we get there, so don't get your panties in a bind. What is she talking about? What could be over there? Seems like there was a stream. Um, is there anything else that I should look at? Maybe this? Looks like a storage room. I suppose I should check inside. Doesn't seem as though there's anything of interest here, and in that case, I rewrote the program to delete all dangerous objects that could be used as weapons. Well, I don't see anything dangerous that can be used as a weapon. And besides, this is a simulator, right? We won't actually die, right? Don't say stuff like that, Shuichi. You make me nervous every time you do. Perhaps because all the weapons were deleted, the shelves are empty. The only thing here is an empty box and some lattice. Rolled up carpet, huh? 
It does look safe. Is that all there is to see? Yep, looks like it. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll just leave. Well, did you manage to examine all the places that caught your eye? Well. Yes, but there weren't too many points of interest. Uh. That's really cold. I didn't think it'd be snowing. <laughs> nice, Himiko. That means if you trip and hit your head, it won't hurt. Don't be rude. I'm not the type to trip that often. Uh. That was way too cliched of a gag. Jeez. I was about to point that out. Snow in the mansion. How ominous. <sighs> Great job, Killing Games Simulator. What you know. But we're not leaving any footprints in it. What's up with that? That's true. It was probably programmed like that. It'd be easy to find the culprit from the footprints. Ah. Yeah, it looks that way, but you don't need to worry about it. This is just a simulation, and there are no dangerous items here whatsoever. Let's go outside. We can cross the river and head to the chapel. But how do we cross the river? I don't see any- I don't remember seeing any bridges. <laughs> Jeez, you're so fucking stupid! You're approaching Savantard territory. Let's just go over there and so I can explain it to you, you idiots all at once. God, you people move really fast. Hmm. Sorry, Kibo. Something wrong? Well, I was just looking at that wall, and I started to think about what Mew said. About how nothing exists beyond that wall. And then, I started to think about the wall that surrounds the academy. Uh, no, n never mind. Forget what I just said. Well then. We should get going. If we're late, Mew will chew us out with vulgar profanities. <laughs> you're not wrong there. Hmm, nothing outside of the wall, huh? Uh, it's probably best not to think too much about it right now. But it's something that I'll keep in the backside of my mind, just in case. Uh, alright. It's a pretty nice mansion, all things considered. Even if it is bad graphically, according to everyone. I mean, graphics aren't the only thing that's important, guys. Sometimes a nice art style will do. Also, what the hell... ...is this sign doing here? Hmm. Anyway, explain it, Mew. Quit taking your sweet-ass time! Hurry up and come on me! Uh, uh, I mean... Uh, uh, come with me! Hurry up! Uh, I'm very concerned for a date when we get out of here. Please tell me she isn't going to invite everyone else. Or anyone else even, for that matter. There's no bridge after all. How are we supposed to cross the river now? Just so you know, my magic doesn't exist in this world. Well... Don't tell me. Do we have to swim? Fine, I won't tell you. Besides, you can't go in the river in the virtual world. Huh? Then, should we use something as a boat? Jeez, you're not even trying to hide your stupidity. The river's current is too fast. The boat will get swept away easily. What? So we need a bridge then, right? Listen up. I told you, we already got a bridge. There's a wider river downstream that connects to this one. Next to it, there's a lawn signboard that says Mirai Hills. Okay, so that's what that sign is there for. Apparently it was meant for the mansion, but we can use it as a makeshift bridge. Well then. So we just need to get that signboard. <laughs> yeah, but I'll ask the masochist to go get it. He just loves being bussed around. Shuichi, hey, go get the signboard. Huh? What? Me? Jeez. Yeah, go get the signboard. Why? Mackie, don't encourage... Huh? Yeah, you're a total masochist. Hey, no kink shaming! Uh, I mean, huh? Wait a minute, do you all think that about me? <laughs> Just to make it special, I want you to get it while you crawl like a dog. Uh, 
Oh. No, I think I'll walk f normally, thank you. <sighs> we should go on strike, Shuichi. There's no reason we need to be the pack golfer of this group. This is the signboard. It says Mirai Hills. All right. I just need to grab this and head back to the others. Wow, I can't believe they actually made a um, avatar which carries the sprite. That's some um, nice attention to detail. Hey, I thought I told you to crawl like a dog. No. You actually thought I'd be on all fours? I couldn't carry the sign in that case. <laughs> Whatever. Quit wasting time and laid the signboard across the river. <sighs> all right then. Sure. See, it fits perfectly. We have ourselves a bridge now. We're gonna walk over this shabby looking signboard. It's definitely gonna break. Fucking moron. Your brain must be smaller than your tits. I told you, objects don't break in this world. I see. Oh, so even this crappy signboard can be a sturdy bridge in this world, huh? Listen up. This signboard is the only bridge we got, so don't fuck up and let it get washed away. If this signboard gets washed away by the river, we won't have a bridge anymore. All right, already. Sheesh, you're so annoying. Oh? Huh? Oh, there's a bridge! Oh, thank God! I came, I gave up when I realized I had no way to cross the river. Where were you, and what were you doing? Um... Oh, I was in the forest over there looking for the secret of the outside world. But unfortunately, I couldn't find it. Well, I wasn't expecting it to be that easy anyway. Right, Gunter? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Perfect. It's more convenient when we're all together anyway. Hmm? What do you mean, convenient? N nothing Uh, whatever. Let's just cr cross the river. Hey, hey. Hurry up and get over here, guys. It's too late to head back now, okay? I still think Mew's hiding something from us. And it really concerns me. Yeah, that was stressful. But the thing about objects not breaking was true. You know. That's what I've been saying! Hey. Aren't we just beyond the wavy line drawn on the map? Ah. You'll find out if you keep going forward. Why don't you go check it out? Uh, this is disconcerting. Okay, I guess I'll go first. What was that? What? Oh, they're not used to a world shift. Like in, like from The Legend of Zelda or from Seeker of Mana or like an RPG or something. What, what was that? What just happened? For a second it felt like I lost consciousness and everything went to black and now I'm here. Nope. That didn't happen to our bodies, but it happened to this world. Huh? huh? What do you mean? But that is an accurate description, as if the world itself switched over. You're right. Could it be loading? <laughs> Correct. I mean, uh, uh erect. Oh, um, you said the right word the first time. That being said. Anyway, Four Eyes is right. You all just passed through the map loading point. You know. In some games, if you go in a building, it'll take a moment for the inside to fully load. Well, the outside world is like that too, because the virtual world is divided into la two large maps. That wavy line represents where the two maps meet. Think of these two maps as if they're two different rooms. In the same way you have to go through a door to move between two rooms. To move between the two maps, you have to pass through the map loading point. Then... Is that why we can't see past that point on the binoculars on the roof? Obviously, you can't see what's inside one room when you're standing inside the other. Makes sense. Oh, a map loading point! <laughs> How fun! So not only does your sight get cut off, but sounds cut off too. Yeah, you can't hear anything at all while we're inside the map loading point. So no sound goes for either. Hmm. Right. So the chapel is over here, right? Well, I've got to go ahead, then. 
That was a weird way of saying Nen. Hey, d just, just. Hey, don't just go on ahead. I don't trust you being all off alone by yourself. I told you. It's because you pay attention to him that you're more likely to be tricked. <sighs> He's like a doting father. If his father was an evil genius. All right, let's go off. There's only the chapel in this place, right? Um. Was there a way that I could look at the map? Nope. Looks like it's completely cut off from the regular map menu. Okay, that makes sense. And yeah, it seems like there's only a chapel here, but might as well do the once around just to be careful. <gasps> ah, so this is the secret of the outside world. Um, I don't, I don't think so, Shuichi. It's just mono coins. Wait, how the hell does currency from the virtual world work in the... Uh, y you know what, whatever. This world doesn't make any sense. Why do I question anything? That's a whole load of Christmas. This is the chapel. It's a mess, huh? Nah, searching this place is gonna be pretty hard. Now that we checked out all the important places in the virtual world... Let's split up and look for the secret of the outside world. Ah. Oh, so we're splitting up, huh? That's probably better. <laughs> I wonder what the secret of the outside world could be. Hmm. Monokuma did not give us much information about it either. Actually. Are we going to be able to find it if we don't know what it is? Hmm. There's no point in asking whether we'll find it or not. We just gotta do it. Yeah, that's right. Just keep an eye out for anything suspicious and it's bound to turn up. Hmm. Sounds like we have a difficult task ahead of us, but I guess we have to see it through. Ah. Oh yeah, before we split up, I want to ask you something, Mew. Do, do you have to keep it secret? Hmm? What are you two whispering about? Piece of shit. Mind your business, titless. Quit sticking your pot belly where it doesn't belong. I don't have a pot belly. I definitely don't have a pot belly. Uh, but you're not denying the first part? Well, well, I mean, she doesn't have big... Well, don't think about it. Don't think about it. So, who's going to decide how we split up? Leave it to me. Just leave it all to me. I'll figure out how everyone should split up in a flash. Well, no, no, hold up. I'll decide that. I know this world better than any of you, so uh, I'll decide. Uh, oh, you sure? Sure. Kaito, I want you to search the rooftop of the mansion. What? Huh? Why, why do I gotta go to the rooftop? It's freaking cold up there. Hmm. Yeah, there's no way the faint-hearted Kaito can search in the cold. All right. All right, bring it on. Uh, all I gotta do is search the rooftop, right? Played like a damn fiddle. Kaito and Kikuchi, they really don't seem to get along. Kikichi's using that to his advantage. Kikichi, you're in charge of the salon. Okay. Okay, got it. Hmm. We need about three more people to search the mansion. Doesn't matter who. What? His plan became s sloppy all of a sudden. Oh, I see. Then Gonta should come with me. We can search the mansion's surroundings since no one else wants to deal with the cold. Hmm. Okay, Gonta come with you. Yeah. Mm hmm A true gentleman must always volunteer to do the dirty work. So you're just going to use Gonta again? I've decided I'm going that way too. I have to make sure you don't you're not abusing poor Gonta. We still need one more for mansion duty. Shuichi, come with us! Uh okay. Uh, okay. Is Maki upset because she's all by herself now? Even if I asked her, I suspect she would just ask me if I wanted to die again. I should keep quiet for now. Alright, everyone else, stick with me here in the chapel and look for the secret. I understand. So, Himiko, Maki, Mew, and myself. Understood. All right. Let's go back to the mansion. We gotta find the secret of the outside world. Do a good job, Mackie Roll! Hey, so 
Hey, is, uh, Matthew Roll mad? Shuichi, did you do something? Uh, I don't know, I... Let's just, uh, <laughs> leave her to it. Aw, she's gonna miss us. Play nice, Mackie. Sure is messy here. There's a mountain of books and posters and what looks like Christmas decorations. Was this meant to hide the secret of the outside world? That's something Monokuma would do. Leave it to me. Shuichi, we'll take care of searching around the chapel. I will show you that I'm leagues apart from those household cleaning robots. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, I'll leave the chapel to you, Kibo. In a second, I do want to check this very quickly. I suppose it makes sense for a chapel to have an organ. Kaidi probably could have played the organ well too. Hmm. Yeah, probably. Sure is messy in here. Okay, it's the same thing as before. Yeah, I'm tired. Shuichi, if you want to help, don't hold back, no. okay? Uh, I was just taking a look around. I'll go investigate the mansion. Alright, let's head back. Uh, God damn it, Mew. Why are you conspiring with freaking Kokichi of all people? All right. Did everyone cross the bridge? Okay then, let's head to the mansion together. Huh? Whoops, my hand slipped. Uh. What? The hell, Mew. Ah, what are you doing? Ah. I just came here to see you guys off and my hand accidentally slipped. Don't screw around. That was obviously on purpose. It, it wasn't on purpose at all. It was an accident. Shut up. You, you keep talking shit like that, you only ever attract ugly bitches. Do you want to spend your rest of your life surrounded by ugly bitches, dumbass? It's not even an insult. I'm famous for attracting ugly people. Uh, um, Wh what are they fighting about? I've met a lot of people up till now, but I've never met someone so messed up. Shit! Seriously, that girl is so much trouble. <laughs> that was a... That was a shit from the heart, Kokichi. <laughs> Sorry, props to the voice actor for that one. That was great. Sorry. Oh, sorry. There was one more person here. What are people in the chapel going to do? Now we have no way to get across. Huh? Oh, you're right. You can only log out from the salon in the mansion. Um... Well, maybe Mew can fix it later. Let's just get to the mansion already. I, I keep on flip-flopping between voices. I'm not used to seeing their freaking chibi avatars. We'll deal with them later. First, we've got to find a secret of the outside world. Secret of the outside world. Can't imagine what it could be. All I can do is hope that it means a way out. Yeah, hopefully. Okay, I'm just gonna check down here. Yep, there is no way in hell we're going to find that sign. Looks like the river current fr flows from west to east. There's a random rock here. Interesting. Anyway. Let's go inside. Gonta and Kaito are gonna check the mansion sur surroundings and rooftop. I'll go to sal the salon. Oh my god. So can the plain pair. Smoogie and Shuichi. Go plainly search the dining hall and kitchen. Sorry. Sorry, Shuichi. It's my fault you got pair plain paired with me. But everyone knows that the plain pair is just plain dangerous. Okay. Uh, I, I don't know about that. Um... Gonta, go now. It's surprisingly cold out there, so be careful. You should come back here to warm up. It's okay. Thank you, but Gonta okay. Gonta not smart enough to get sick. Come on, man. Someone who isn't smart wouldn't want to save everyone. They'd only think of themselves. Oh, oh, uh, thank you. Hey. Okay, let's stop the fun chit chat and go back to looking to the for the secret of the outside world. But we don't know what's waiting for us, so we got to be very careful, okay? Uh, okay? All right, we'll start searching too. All right. Yeah, I want to hurry up and find the secret of the outside world so we can go back. I want to go back to my real body. Nah. Well, these avatars aren't that bad, you know. Huh? huh? These avatars. <laughs> Just kidding. 
It's a joke. Just a joke. I'm just joking. I'm gonna go check out the rooftop. You guys better not slack off. Gonta. Gonta, go now too. Shuichi, we should go too. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Hmm, don't think we've checked out this room yet. Should be interesting. Also, there's that door to the right. We should probably check that as well. Um, so, check out the dining room. Shu can you please check this ch kitchen, Shuichi? Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to do that. She was probably going to say it's like down here on the right. The chest is well made and the candles are certainly impressive, but this isn't a secret of the outside world. What is this? Mm, Shuichi, are you the type of person who admires good craftsmanship? No. Uh, no, not really. I'll investigate the kitchen now. I'll leave Smoothie to this room. I know we're supposed to be searching for the secret of the outside world, but what is it? An object? Something else entirely? Well. I suppose I should search everywhere, look for anything suspicious. I searched every nook and cranny in the kitchen, but... <sighs> I looked everywhere, but I didn't find anything suspicious. Perhaps I missed something. I'll look at one more time. But it was a waste of time. I found nothing. It's been a while, but I can't find anything. If I haven't found anything, even after all this, uh, it can't be in the kitchen. What should I do now? Search somewhere else? Shuichi. Yo, Smoothie. How'd you search those, Shuichi? No. I didn't find anything. How about you? The same. I checked every corner, but I didn't find a thing. I'm starting to wonder if there's even something actually hidden here. Was Monokuma just lying? The way Monokuma was talking certainly was suspicious. Hmm. Not just him, but Tokichi as well. Seemed to be playing along rather nicely. It was Tokichi who was steering that conversation, but why would he do that? Seems like Shuichi uh, noticed that as well. Oh, by the way, there's something that's been bothering me. That's... Hmm? Something bothering you? Um, yeah, it might have just been my imagination, but there's a small window in the dining room. Maybe ten minutes or mi minutes ago, I looked through it, and I thought I saw Mew. Huh? You saw Mew, but she should be in the chapel. Yeah. And the bridge fell, so she shouldn't be able to get over here, right? That's why I thought it was just my imagination, but I figured I should say something. Huh? Uh. What was that sound? No. It sounded as if something was struck very hard. It came from outside, but... Smoothie, let's go look. What was that? Yeah. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, okay, okay. I thought I was about to go into a scene for a second. Hmm. Nothing in the entrance hall. Perhaps out... Side, maybe? Could it be? Maybe that sound was something falling off the roof? But the person on the roof is... What should we do? But for now, let's go outside and check! Oh no! Uh, oh no! Huh? What? what? That was Kibo's voice, right? I think I heard him outside, he sounded close! Why? But Kibo should be in the chapel, why? Uh, anyway, let's go outside, it'll be faster to see it for ourselves! Uh, okay. Right! Oh no, 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 no! Oh, Shuichi, Smoothie. Gonta. Gonta, did you see Kibo around here as anywhere? No. N no, Gonta not see him. Um, huh? You didn't? But I heard his voice close by. Then did something fall off the roof? You heard that loud noise, right? Um, uh, oh, Gonta hear noise, but Gonta not see anything. Huh? Huh? What could that mean? I thought I heard the sound and Kibo's voice close by. But Gonta didn't see anything? And what about Kaito? He should have heard that from the roof. He would have run over here right away. What's going on? Hey, hey Shuichi, what does this all mean? Such strange occurrences. Alright, my talent is solving mysteries. So, 
That's what I'm going to do. We need to figure out why Kibo screamed. Let's head to the chapel. Something might have happened there. Uh, yeah, you're right. Okay, okay. We're not allowed to go that way. Go, 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 go. Shuichi. Uh, Shuichi, perfect timing. Is there anything over there that can serve as a bridge? What? Huh? Kibo's over there? Then what was the, that shouting I heard earlier? Hey, we should hurry and find something else to replace the bridge with. Right. I yeah, we might be able to make it in time. Huh? Make it in time? What do you... Hey! What happened? Are you guys ma- Why are you guys making such a scene? Kokichi! Kokichi! Um... I didn't see anything in the dining room, so I went to look for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like everyone's in trouble now that you dropped the bridge. Kokichi... Th this is no time for laughter. We need to find a replacement bridge. Oh, but the bridge is over here, you know. Huh? What? <laughs> Come on, over here. All right. Uh, uh, anyway, let's go. Mm. Kokichi told us, so now I'm worried. But... Let's just wait and see what happens. Oh, it did get stuck on the flipping rock. See, the signboard stuck on that boulder is the same one you drop, right? Yeah. You're right! He got swept all the way here! Allow Gonta. Leave it to Gonta. Gonta just needs a carriage signboard. All right. Now that that's dealt with, let's head back to where everyone else is. Mm. Uh, are they back yet? Hey. Oh, there, there they are. So Gonta just needs to put board over a river. But board is so thin, will it be okay? What if board breaks this time? You get it? it may be thin, but it's made of sturdy wood, so can you hurry up and put the bridge down? Got uh, okay, G got it. What happened? What's wrong? What happened over there? Well... I'll explain later, but we need to log out right now. Huh? Log out! Huh? Where's Mew? Is it something happened to her? Huh? What do you mean? Well... We're not sure, but her avatar isn't moving. Maybe something happened in the real world that's preventing her from moving it. Ah, uh, this looks real bad, guys. Okay, let's head to the salon and log out ASAP! Hey, hey where's Kaito? Well, that's... Uh, Kaito, I don't know. I ran here as fast as I could. I didn't check the roof. You didn't even bother going to the roof to get him? You're colder than I thought. Huh? huh? Shuichi. Shuichi, let's hurry. Uh, yeah, let's hurry. Shit. I'm just worried now, I'm just worried. Um. Mackie, did you check the rooftop? He wasn't there. Huh? He wasn't there? No one was on the roof. I tried calling for him, but there was no answer. Then... Where did he go? What's the point? He probably logged out first by himself. But don't worry, he's not. He's stupid enough to get himself killed, but I know he won't really die. I suppose that's true. I don't have to worry about him. I have to hurry and log out. I have to get, check on Mew. I keep on pressing circle to run and then... I, I, I want to get outside as quickly as possible. Shuichi. Hold on, Shuichi. We can only log out one person at a time. Um. Gonta have next turn. Um. So Gonta just say name and phone and someone come get him? Hmm. Who cares? Just do it already. Gonta. Um, Gonta Gokuhara. He disappeared, so that's what logging out looks like. Oh. So the avatars disappear when we log out. But Mew's avatar is still here and I'm moving, right? What does that mean? Um. Uh, anyway, let's hurry and go back. Um. Uh, Smoogie Shiragane. Right? Oh, Shuichi, you can log out before me. I'm sure your detective's intuition is kicking him, right? So, go on ahead. Uh, freaking Kukichi. I, do we really trust him in this world by himself? I'll come back for you. Shuichi. 
Oh, wait. Now that we're alone, I want to tell you something. Huh? What is it? <laughs> You're really useful. Huh? Huh? Hey. So, how about you stop hanging out with dumb old Kaito and be my friend instead? I think I could be useful to you, too, you know? I can help you save everyone. You want to save everyone, right? I'm... Shuichi Saihara. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got rejected, but I won't give up that easily. When I find someone I like, I do anything to get them to notice me, even strangle them. Ah. Oh. When I opened my eyes, I could see only black. I was locked out. The helmet was on my head, was blocking my vision. When I realized that, I quickly reached up to grab an, the helmet and pulled it off. And when I did, a nauseating sight was waiting for me. Muse called dead body.